Thank you for your decision to become a trainer. This video, once complete, wraps up your training as a training facilitator. This is the final installment video in the Overdose Response and Naloxone Train the Trainer video series for the Federated States of Micronesia. In total, ASDO has developed five supplemental videos for this training. The Opioid and Naloxone Overview, Group Activity, Naloxone Administration, Questions and Knowledge Assessment, and this training wrap-up video. Make sure to watch all videos in order as they are your guide to becoming a successful trainer. This video recaps the content covered in the supplemental Train the Trainer video series, material, resources, and final preparations to administer this training successfully. We will start with a review of the last four supplemental Train the Trainer videos. We'll also cover the information, materials, and items you must know before your first scheduled training session. The first video, the overview video, covers pages 1 and 2 of the Federated States of Micronesia Opioid Prevention and Response Training Curriculum, Overdose Response and Naloxone Train the Trainer Training. It outlines all the documents and materials to direct and present the coursework and complete the training session. The second Train the Trainer video tells you what to do when pausing for a group activity or discussion in the curriculum. The third video explains how to administer naloxone to counteract the effects of an opioid overdose. The fourth video highlights the best way to answer participant questions and conduct the knowledge assessment, including the post-assessments. For this video, video 5, we'll start by reviewing the handouts, references, resource videos, links, and kits in the FSM Opioid Prevention and Naloxone Response Training Curriculum. We will go over these items so that you can share this knowledge in the communities you serve. Many of these resources are in the Train the Trainer videos, the curriculum on pages 19, 20, and 21, and the resources and references pages. All materials, videos, and links will be available on the included flash drive. Reviewing them in advance will help you, as the trainer, answer potential questions before training others. Let's look at the additional appendices in the curriculum not already referenced in the previous supplemental training videos. First is Appendix G, the sign-in sheet located on page 33 of the curriculum. Before starting any training session, set it aside. Have the sign-in sheet available as individuals arrive or pass it around before the start of training. As the trainer, fill out the top portion of the form. Before participants begin the curriculum, they must complete the pre-assessment on pages 27 and 28. The pre-assessment includes eight multiple choice questions to help determine the participant's baseline knowledge and understanding of opioid misuse, the overdose recovery drug naloxone, and dose administration. The handout is on page 27. Appendix A, C, and D offer training participants more content-specific information about opioid misuse, abuse, and prevention. For the trainer, these appendices provide additional information to help present and conduct the training and answer trainee questions. Appendix A is the Rapid Overdose Recognition and Naloxone Handout located on page 23. The Virginia Department of Health developed the five essential questions in Appendix A as part of its REVIVE program. Appendix C gives recommended strategies and approaches to adverse childhood experiences, or ACEs. It can be found on page 25. Consider creating knowledge assessment cards to assist others in completing the opioid prevention and naloxone administration training. Appendix D on page 26 is the Withdrawal Symptoms Handout. It identifies specific opioid and non-opioid drugs with an approximate time to onset of withdrawal symptoms. In the fourth Train the Trainer video, we reviewed the six frequently asked questions in Section 3, page 18, in the training guide. We also talked about reserving time for questions and answers. The amount of time it will take to answer participant questions will vary. Allow as much time as necessary to answer participant questions during the final question and answer session. The Naloxone Knowledge Assessment, located in Section 3 of the curriculum, allows participants to demonstrate the steps for responding to an opioid overdose. As a trainer, the activity enables you to make sure participants can show the proper response and naloxone administration steps on the mannequin. We have already reviewed Appendix E, the Participant Post Assessment. 
Once complete, it will reveal how much information you and other participants have learned during training. Preparing to become a trainer includes a thorough review of all knowledge and post-assessments. We recommend that you take them before your first training class, especially Appendix F. Appendix F measures knowledge improvement level and understanding of the material at different points of the learning life cycle. In addition, we can't stress enough the importance of watching all the videos and reviewing all the links within the curriculum before training others. Doing so will help you teach others. Also, Appendix F will help ASTO evaluate the effectiveness of this training and develop future training sessions. We have covered a lot of information today. FSM's Opioid Prevention and Naloxone Response Training Curriculum and the Train the Trainer videos prepare you and others in your community with life-saving substance misuse training. On behalf of the ASTO team, thank you for volunteering your time to become a trainer for opioid prevention and response training in your community. We hope the information presented here by ASTO gives you the tools to better understand and respond to opioid misuse and abuse. You and others in your community are now equipped with the knowledge needed to save a life when responding to an opioid overdose.